Hi, in this problem we're going to find the Laplace transform of this function. So you have 2 sine t plus 3 cosine 2t. So the first step is we're going to use the fact that the Laplace transform is linear. So basically it's going to be 2 Laplace sine t plus, and then you can pull the constants out of the Laplace, cosine 2t. And the reason is the Laplace is really just an integral, right? Recall that if you have the Laplace transform of a function f, that's really just the improper integral from zero to infinity of e to the, e to the negative st f of t dt, provided that this integral converges. That's the Laplace transform of a function. So um, that's why you can pull numbers out, because if this converges, you can use all the properties of integrals and pull out constants. So it is, it is linear. Also, it's additive, right? Um, as long as everything converges, you can add up integrals. So here we're going to use formulas. So there's a formula uh, for this and this that lets us avoid this complicated formula. Otherwise, this would be a very long problem. So recall that the Laplace transform of the sine of kt is equal to k over s squared plus k squared. Okay, And then the Laplace transform of the cosine of kt that's equal to s over s squared plus k squared. Okay, so in this case here, sine t, right, k is 1, so this is going to be 2 times 1 over s squared plus 1, because 1 squared is 1, and then plus 3 times. And uh, here, uh, cosine has the s. That's how I memorize these. Cosine has the s. I know it doesn't make sense, but it works for me. So it's s over s squared plus 9, because it's a 3 squared, right? Because k, uh, sign that 9, 4, 4. A little mistake there, 4, because it's a 2 squared. So k squared is going to be 4. So this will be 2 over s squared plus 1 plus 3s over s squared plus 4. And that would be the Laplace transform of this function here. So just example of how to do it. Not, to, not so bad. Good luck.